the Google barge torpedoed by the U.S. Coast Guard. Ryan Takeo with what had guardsmen saying there was no way they'd let anybody on board. The Coast Guard repeatedly raised concerns about fire safety on the Google barge, according to documents obtained by the Wall Street Journal. There was lots of fuel and flammable material on board and not enough ways to escape during an emergency. It was enough of a roadblock for Google to abandon ship on the super secret project. And the barge has hit nothing but roadblocks since KPIX5 uncovered its existence last November. Part of the barge's charm, it was cloaked in mystery and we couldn't get enough. It was supposed to be a luxury Google Glass showroom and party boat. Then came word it didn't have the right permits to stay in the bay, leading Google to move it under the cover of darkness to Stockton. The barge now floats quietly in the Stockton Channel, miles away from the attention and notoriety it received in the Bay Area. And what a fall from grace it's been. It's no longer a constant target of international media attention. Now it's a target for golfers. And they're hitting golf balls at it. Tyler says while it's frowned upon, he's known some playing Stockton Country Club's ninth hole to aim across the channel instead. Probably three wood. <laughs> he adds he hasn't seen any movement on the boat since it got here in March. Yeah. There are a couple of days of hoopla then, but that's faded. It's just there, you know, part of the scenery now. Part of the scenery for only a matter of time. A project once cloaked in secrecy capturing the world's attention, now a hulking heap of scrap metal in a high-profile failure. In Stockton, Ryan Takeo, KPIX 5. Those of you who remember this story remember there was a second Google barge. Remember? The one in Maine. It has already been scrapped for parts.